Okay, amazing. So let us look at uh, our Excel sheet back again. And now we will talk about navigational shortcuts, right? So navigational shortcuts are, let's say if you want to travel uh, from quickly from first row to the last row, how do you do that, right? So you can select, actually select control and down arrow. Now, if you see, I uh, selected control and down arrow, or if you are in a Mac, it is command plus down arrow, right? And uh, similarly, if you have to go back, it will control plus up arrow, right? So now what happens is uh, it will go from top to bottom if it is continuous data. Let's say there is a break here and I am at the top. And uh, let's say from here top, I want to come down and I'll say control and down arrow. It will come till wherever it is. It was continuous and wherever there's a break, it will break there and not go further. So at that moment, you have to select control down arrow again if you want to jump to the next cell skip the uh, break, right? And if you want to actually select everything, al always when you're doing a, uh, a navigational shortcut, be sure that it is continuous in data, right? Now, if I'm going to again press it, it'll go till bottom, right? So let me undo Control Z and we'll have it back. Same with Control or Command uh, right arrow. Now you can see from here, it came till here because here admitted city, there was no admitted city, right? But let's say, if, if we were in the top and there was admitted city, if I go, I'm going to see control and right arrow, it will come till the end, right? From here, control down arrow till the end. Now you see if I control left arrow till here because admitted city was not there. If I want to jump control uh, left arrow again and control up arrow to go till the top, right? So continuous data is anything that does not have an empty cell, right? So same with the uh, selection also. So now control A actually selects the total continuous data area, right? For example, if I something here, like let's say, hello, and, uh, but it is not continuous, you have to see, and there are something say, hi, and I come here or anywhere and say control A, it will select the whole continuous data, but because there was a break, it will not select this, right? If you want to still select everything, you have to press control A again. Uh, so what happens is even if it is not continuous also, it will uh, select it. Right. But but let's say if it was high here and it was not there here, if I do control A, that would be selected because that is continuous data. Right. So now uh, this is about uh, control A and uh, the navigational shortcuts. Now, if at all you want to select everything, what do you do? Control. And if you do down arrow, you'll come till down. If you do up arrow, you'll go till top. Okay, but if you want to select all of these uh, values, you want to do control shift and down arrow, right? So now when you do that, you can see a uh, whole of it is selected also, right? Instead of you selecting, clicking on A, uh, the whole column, you can just say control shift down arrow and it will select the whole continuous data. So this is normally useful. Let's say if you want to see the count here, you can see the count becomes visible here, the average or the sum here, it is not relevant, but then you can see the values can be mentioned here, okay? Now, same with control shift. Again, if you press right again, till wherever it is continuous, uh, it will go to till the end. Why did it skip admitted city is because in the top, did not skip is because in the top, it is continuous only, right? If nothing was there here, and then I want to do control shift till the end, bottom control shift right, it will come till here only. But if I have just one cell and I just do from here, control shift down, control shift uh, right, uh, so it will see that, uh, but you have to have the top data something, right? So if you have this same high here in the top and just the control shift down, shift this, now you see that it is still selecting. So what it will see is like this might be the heading and there might be no uh, value here, right? So I'm just going to undo everything so that uh, we remain, everything remains intact, right? So these are navigational shortcuts. Now, if you want to summarize this uh, using AI, you can just go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT gives you a lot of uh, helpful things that you might not be doing uh, with traditional learning, right? Uh, even this will become more helpful as we go forward when we use formulas and other things also. I'm going to say, what are, uh, I can say navigational shortcuts in Excel. So these, these are actually helpful in improving your efficiency, right? So there'll be a little bit more additional than what we have discussed, which we will cover as we 
go forward, right? So now you see arrow keys, just one arrow up and down is like move one left, right, up, down. Control plus arrow keys is like go in the whole direction wherever it is continuous. So the continuous uh, is not mentioned here, but you understand the value of continuous, right? Uh, so these are specific to windows, right? Uh, page or page down means it will go to top screen and bottom screen, but these are not very prominently used, right? And you have other data uh, for shortcuts also, like Control F is actually used for um, finding something within the Excel sheet, right? So uh, this these are all things that we'll also be discussing as we go forward. But then now you can see that there is like uh, some easy and quick way to actually use AI and to try each of these things by yourself on your Excel to know what it does, right? So uh, I, I'll leave that exploration to you and uh, try to tie in uh, what X, uh, AI can do uh, while learning as a co-pilot in your journey.